Yeah, of course you start recording there. Thanks. Um, <laughs> hey, welcome back. It's Wednesday. It's, it's Wednesday again. It's shut Wednesday. up. We're back, everybody. <laughs> you just yelled us to shut up. No, I yelled at Phil to shut up. Oh. <laughs> okay. Somebody tell Phil to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love you and I appreciate you, but you don't have to talk over people, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so much anger. We're here with Krasden. It's Wednesday. Was Phil talking over you then, or what was going on? All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and kick all of these people out of here. Laura, make me host. Laura, make me host. I can't. I don't have that power. Damn it. You do have that. You're the host. It didn't give me that power. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, we're, we'll be, we're back with episode 52. Uh, entitled Power Is... Oh, I am the host now. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a mistake. Hey, that's very interesting with the name of the episode. Um, so, it's been two weeks, so if you don't remember what happened, it's cool. Neither do any of my players. So, Duncan, you rewatched it today. Why don't you go ahead and remind everybody? Hey. Well, it's been quite a long time, but I, oh, but I decided to go and... And and meditate for a bit, and I fight, and I figured out what happened there. So then, first of all, what happened was, so there was there was Blackburn, and he was, and there, and he was like dying, and then he like actually died, and then we spent a really long time trying to decide what to ask, what how what kind of questions to ask him, because everybody seemed to have something they wanted to wanted to ask him. Was even Olkin want us to ask something about a ring or some or, or something like that? And then, so we asked him all these questions. I'm not sure we really learned anything. <laughs> but it took a long time. And if anybody thinks we learned something, we can pop in right now. Crucible, did we learn anything? Ori, anyone? It's a hard no there, I didn't Duncan. I didn't ask anything. I don't did think. we learn things then? <laughs> well, I guess we learned. I guess, I guess we learned that Blackburn was, you know, in love and had a relationship with like the prince or something and it's quite sad when people live a lie like that we did learn that so it's sad but then eventually we, just, we, we and well bagby and i once once we were done in the in the ghostwick way bagby and i we went and we talked to bob and apparently bob he was he's he's a guard um and he was there with blackburn but um he's also one of keen's Men, because I don't know, he did something, Keen did something for him at some point. And so, um, but something happened then, um, you know, uh, in, 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 in that, what, 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 what do we call that place where, where they were hanging out? Um, um, like the, where the Blackburn has the, general. the general, the general, the general, right, right, the general, something happened there, and, and, um, like they were, they were going through. They were just—it was like a regular day, and then suddenly it wasn't a regular day anymore, and um, things exploded, like on the fourth level down, and they were coming from the bottom up. So, Bagby and I were like, "Oh, that's great! That's, yeah, there's something going on there, and maybe we should go there and like check it out more." But Ori was being a bitch. You know what? Let's go. <laughs> the fuck? Sorry, Ori. <laughs> Sorry, Ori, but you are, but you are. Okay. We so, are no longer cinnamon rolls. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I've been through a lot, okay? <laughs> anyway, the point is, we have this map, right? So I was studying the map. I was trying to really learn how to use it, but it's really put together weird. And I wasn't doing very well, do, doing a very good job. And Bob came with us because we took Bob because he was going to kill Bob, but we didn't want them to kill Bob. So we took him with, and he's going, going to take him with us to the general. Because if we do that, maybe he'll like remember more. Um, but there were minotaurs, and there was a lot of things there. Go back and watch the old episodes so you know more. Um, but at some point, at some point, I was, I was busy working on the map, and everybody else was busy doing whatever they were doing. And Bagby was like, "Oh, I'll go talk to the prince. That's a good idea." And everybody was like, "Oh, sure, it's it for me," because I wasn't, I wasn't even paying attention. Because she's my best friend, and I wouldn't let her go by herself. But she went all by herself. 
She, she's what? <laughs> so finally, I mean, I was like, where's Bagbat? And everybody was like, I don't know. She left all by herself. And I was quite angry. And um, then we're like, oh, we should probably go look for her. But there was something going on there. I could feel something like she might. Now, I don't know this for sure because it wasn't there. But I believe that that the assassin skills may have, you know, kidnapped her or something. Or she might have gone along willingly. I'm not sure because I wasn't there. And she might right now, she might right now at this very moment be hanging out with the leader of the assassin guild, who might also be the orc queen. And then everything just stopped. Then we blacked out for two weeks. Um, good so job, Duncan. Going on. Good a job, Duncan. Going on. Thank you for your You're update. You're very welcome. If I left anything out, everyone can just jump in at any time. I don't think you left anything out. I think that was pretty good. Pretty good. I'm trying to find all of your fucking. I'll find them if I need them. Well done. Well done, buddy. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so. Let's go ahead and open it. I know I have the wrong thing up, but I changed my mind after I decided it. We're going to go and open with the boys. Okay? Yeah. Which, you know, is excellent planning by me to have the wrong thing pulled up. But, yeah. We forgive you. Well, that's nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, please forgive me. That's what I'm looking for here. <laughs> I think we were trying. We were about ready to leave the our 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 hideout. I'm pretty sure you were as well. But we weren't. We weren't. Uh, we weren't left yet because <laughs> someone told us we didn't leave yet. You were okay. You head out the door. I had uh, previously turned into. Uh, a uh, pooch wolf and was because we were tracking Bagby we were going to be tracking Bagby and I was going I was supposed to like sniff one of her books or possessions or something and then like try and try Bagby did you leave any possessions behind that's our house so I probably wouldn't take everything with me there's probably stuff of mine that's up in the um in my room. Well, what's in your bags then? My other Space for more stuff. <laughs> That's also true. Space for more bags. We're going to find out Bagby's a hoarder. It's going to be really sad. All right. So, you find some. Yeah, we'll, we'll say you find a book or something in a room. Total invasion of privacy, but sure. I'll deal. You find the book. Look, Don't. here's her book. It's one of her favorite ones. It's one of them sexy books. <laughs> well, that's awkward. Um, let's see here. You can't talk. You're a dog. Baby. Nah, never mind. I'm not going to cast talk with animals just for that. <laughs> Role play the dog, Ari. Right. So, first of all, I would have to. Okay, so I would give it a sniff, and then what is it? Survival to track, or perception, or what? Track and survival in it. Okay, so scent based should be with advantage. Nineteen. Or 17, so 19. So just. I like that Herschel's just hanging out, by the way. Yeah. On the screen. I'm here too. <laughs> the, um, That's not his voice. I can't, I can never remember his fucking voice. <laughs> I'm here too! 
<laughs> it was I, I can't do it either. It was really high pitched. <laughs> and I would just do the very Scooby Dooey thing and just kind of my my snoot would go to the ground and I would just be like following along the way she went. Or the way I think she went based on my roll of nineteen. Okay. Let's well, you're in a sewer. Um so there's some scent based issues. Uh you do know she went north. You head that direction for a little while. And then things get very... uh, You find yourself at a a crossroads. And things get very garbled. It's been very well walked recently. So at this crossroads, I kind of, it, it's the, the trails kind of lost a little bit. Um, yes, there's been a bunch of people through here that you, you lose Bagby a bit. It, do, it does send up a, a bit of a question mark to you is how many people have been through here in a very recent time. Gotcha, um, gotcha. Would it be possible for me to try to assist him? With smelling? Uh, if, if I see he's looking towards a direction more, more than others, I would like, f- uh, see if I could see any footprints or anything. Go ahead and roll insight. Okay. I probably would not help him smell. <laughs> shit. 10. Um, oh, shit. you see, he stopped here and, uh, just kind of, he's looking around. What is it, boy? What is it? <laughs> I'm kind of looking every direction. <laughs> Did this dog make Yoda sounds? <laughs> the, uh... I'll join in as well. Roll a little survival. See if I can do any tracking. Twenty-one. Joe, what was your survival? Twenty-one. Joe, what was yours? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Um. You um, looking around, you both see that there are a lot of footprints in and out of here, um, and they are recent. You know, you know the muck and the mire, the mud. Uh, you can see the recent footprints. The the amount of water that comes down here, they'd wash away. It'd be reasonable that they'd wash away fairly quickly along the banks. But there's just all sorts of footprints all over the place. But nobody in sight. You don't hear anything, you don't see anything. I don't like the look of this. Duncan, you do notice that uh, there's one particular direction, kind of in front, kind of going straight, that there are no prints whatsoever. And that is interesting because they, um, they're, you can see that there are prints on the far side walking. And then the near side walking, but somehow in the middle there is none. Mm. Well, that's interesting. Look, there's a bunch of footprints here, and, and over here as well, but nothing over here. There any sort of like hidden passageway or anything up there, like above us? Um, you don't see anything directly above you. Should be noted, it's pretty dark down here. I think you had light cast on something, though. Uh, No, that was something else we had done, but I was going to do that. I would at least try and take a look at the footprints and see if any of them are goblin-sized, Bagby-sized. Bagby, do you wear shoes? Okay. Uh, no, they all look like boot prints to you. Unless you would like to roll investigation. I do cast light on my... Hammer? Warhammer, yep. Okay. I, I, I'll attempt investigations for the sake of being thorough. 
19. Do these look like uh, recent footprints? Or has this been yes. weathered down over time? No, mm -hmm. very re recent. Very recent, and it's it, so uh, essentially two people were holding Bagby. Of it's way. It aren't going to be on the ground. Uh, nineteen. Phil, is that what it says? Yes. Nineteen. Uh, Phil, there's a plethora of different sizes and shapes, but they are all boot prints. You mm -hmm. do notice got little goblin prints walking up to this intersection, though. She's got one wayward pinky toe. <laughs> Very distinctive. I would just pop out of wolf form because it's not doing much good. Got you this far. Yeah. Sorry, guys. The sense all confused here. There's a lot of other people here, but I can see that after all these boot prints show up, the 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 Bagby barefoot goblin print stab. So wherever she went, I think they. Where do where do most of the boot prints seem to go? Unless she jumped in the water, but that would uh, she hates water, so she would never do that. <laughs> she uh, doesn't like water. Poop water's probably lower on the list. This is yeah. I is that a lot of shit here. So no, I don't think she'd jump in there. Does it does it look like the? Can we tell from any of our rolls if the prints seem like a majority of them are going in one direction, or are they just kind of do they just all go in other directions once they grab Bagby? Because I wouldn't imagine there's a ton of traffic down here normally. Um, they uh, appear to be all both walking out and in to the intersection. So it's kind of, it so does look like, the like there's direction. a, it does look like there's a lot of foot traffic. So no, from both like, sides. It's like there's, it's like they, they get here, but they don't leave here is what the problem is. Suppose we best start looking for something secret then. I think it might be a magic. I cast the tech magic. You okay? Yes. Um, I need to look this up real quick. <laughs> I don't have any other ideas, and Duncan suggested it might be magic. So, well, I mean, it seems like the tracks, the boot tracks, come to this area and then go back from this area so maybe we just follow the lot of them it's my assumption that uh, if bagby came down this way and encountered these people they picked her up they're carrying her down the hallway that's why we don't see her footprints anymore you got one person on each side of her as they're carrying her they took her somewhere let's follow the footprints in the direction that they uh, they're generally going but that's what that's what we're that's what we're dealing with here is they don't seem to go anywhere right other than but here. it seems like they came here and then they went back the direction that they came is what ori just said they they, they head in both directions away uh the the two directions both that you directions see. away there's, which what are the two directions oh, away? so you're at a four-way no. intersection basically um the there's some heading back towards the way you came there's some heading back to the left and to the right um there's a lot of a lot of people heading a lot of different ways. The only way that nobody seems to be heading is straight from where you guys are. Joe, yep. casting det t detect magic. You see the arches in the background. Yeah, the you know old style Roman arches. This whole place is built that way. Just beyond um, the intersection on the far side from where you guys are, you sense transmutation magic in multiple items clinging to the ceiling. I share that with the group and ask somebody who's got better vision in the dark than me to see if they see anything. Well, Crucible has his light on. I, I know, but it's still, I wouldn't imagine it's super light down there. No, also, you'd have to walk closer to it because of yeah, the I, I definitely would also, by the way. I would 
I draw my spear and start walking closer. But hopefully someone else will come with me to help me look. Yeah, I would I would try it's, and look. It is a bright light for twenty foot radius. Okay. Okay. I have dark and then dim matter. for an additional twenty. Um do you want me to roll perception when we Please get do. close? Please do. Okay. I got an eleven. Or you may as well since you're you said you, no you were perception. going with him. Okay. Yeah, the, the nature of the light, it, it gets lost in the shadows at the top. You can't quite tell. He rolled a natural 20. Uh, Ori, due to your uh, low light vision, um, I believe that's what elves have, yes? Dark vision. Dark vision. Uh, you see what looks like wooden... Long... Bristled objects with wooden handles attached to the ceiling bristled objects wooden handles like brooms don't do that to me <laughs> in another life I had a bad experience <laughs> I mean um how 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 high and hard to reach are there? Is there any way I could get up there and try and grab one? Um, it, pretty high, and I mean, you'd be trying to climb a slicked, curved surface. All right, all right, time for a boost. <laughs> um, so I would I'd, I'd kneel down, and let him jump up on my shoulders. Athletics. Okay. And ac acrobatics, Ori, athletics. Uh, 15 for me. Fall in the shit water. Fall in the shit water. <laughs> hey, good news is if you oh! fall in the shit water <laughs> with your perfect perception, you'll see everything. <laughs> Laura's just like, these fuckers aren't going to find me until... <laughs> until <laughs> Man, I'm drinking with the assassin queen. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the party and get a job and work for these assets. <laughs> no, then I'll be the only front line. All player. right, Dex, Dex, save Ori. All right, do I get that <laughs> bonus for? What's the bonus for? Uh, you get a you plus being close? three. Get a plus three. There's no way you're not within ten feet of me. His grundle was as close as it gets. Seventeen. Okay, you barely stop yourself from falling in shit water, but you've definitely fallen on the mud and uh, poopy mudness next to, by, by the side of the thing. I just kind of look down at him and I'm like, "Would you like to try that again, Ori?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're just gonna. As he splashes down, it crazy bits of a splash. Joe, your mouth was open. <laughs> How? How? How did that happen? <laughs> I am six and a half foot tall. <laughs> Large brooms come from the sky and to start to sweep the mud around to make it seem incredibly smooth. They fly down upon their own and smooth the uh, previous footprints you'd laid there in the splosh marks around you and then fly back up into the ceiling. Let's try it yeah, one more time. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, maybe we don't have to. You don't see that every day, do you? I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing these were put to hide the tracks. And they went this way. Great. So let's go this way, then. Let's go this way. <laughs> <laughs> I leave the evil devil brooms and we continue on. Dumbest thing I've put in this campaign for a while now. <laughs> I figured they were going to animate and attack us. <laughs> oh, if it, I did not, I did not ask Laura for the stats for the broom. I would have loved it. Have you guys? <laughs> or he would have ran for the hills. It's on D&D &D Beyond. You can just plug it in there. <laughs> <laughs> or he ran away. So they just look like enchanted brooms up there? Yes. It's enchanted brooms that sweep. As you um, start... Do you all start to walk that direction? Now that Joe yeah. has said this out loud? Or I would. 
Crucible? Yes. Okay. Um, as you start to walk that way, not joking, every so often a broom comes down and, like, um, like one of those uh, sand meditation things sweeps it smooth behind <laughs> you. Well, that's quite clever. Oh, like a Zen garden? Yeah, Zen garden. We could get these for the house. <laughs> I know, I feel like it would really uh, help out the, uh, what's the word, the feng shui of the place, you know? I don't know what that is, but there is some fungus in the house, so, yeah. I, I supposed I, to flaw there? Know. It's something I heard my dad say. I was supposed to flaw there? Is the, that, that was the only way that had no footprints whatsoever? So it was weird? Yeah, they should have done it on every side. Right, right, that would have been better. Well, if we were not if we were uh, less wise individuals, we would have blindly followed the footprints. Like, Or we're following the obvious trap. In any case, let's keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> if it's an obvious one. trap, Crucible gets to in his last breath tell I say, yell, I told you so. Um, <laughs> just pointing out, Mike, I, I, I'm going to leave the tech magic up for 10 minutes. Okay. That's how long it lasts. So. Uh, you definitely, I mean, the, the, transmu right, the broom. transmutation brooms, you, you, yes. you see... It's basically every 50 feet, and it's got this little area that it takes care of, and that's that. You know, I know they're just trying to keep tidy, but I don't trust these brooms. They're brooms. Uh, roll perception. I know that in my head. 18. It's not going should. It's a good song. 18? 218. Same Z's. Crucible. Sixteen. 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 Uh, and Joe? What 13. was yours? Thirteen. Um, so everybody hears um, you walk for maybe uh, I mean, Dunk could probably just know this, but you walk for probably five hundred feet. Decent little stretch. You're you're not going quickly. You don't know what's down here. You've passed quite a few of these brooms at this point. You hit another intersection. Um, this is a three-way intersection. Oh uh, my. One that heads straight and then one that heads to the left. Um... The, everything is clean from a footprint perspective in every direction now. Are there brooms in every direction? Can I look down the hallways and sense them? Uh, yeah, you would be able to sense that um, in all directions nearby there is a broom. I think we're just going to have to pick one and go. So the option is to go to continue the way we were going, which I believe that's north. Is that correct? Um, it would be like north, uh, north, east. So we have, have the option to continue going northeast or to turn left and go northwest. Yep. A wise man once told me that when you're in a maze... You always stick to the left. <laughs> so I think we should do that. Right. Yeah, I heard it worked out great for those people. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's not laughing. That's a reference to our one shot. <laughs> <laughs> How did that end? I think you guys won, right? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Got your fucking whore mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I like it because that's actually dig against all of you. It really hurt Laura's feelings that she killed you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes you feel better, Laura. I didn't live or I didn't die. I just was enslaved to a horrible fucking beholder. So <laughs> I assume killed you as soon as that uh, charm yeah. spell wore off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, just recast the charm spell over and over. Yeah, I was going to say, you just recast it. Shit. 
Yeah, you could have been buddies. They become yes, nice lifelong friends. <laughs> is, is lifelong it a, friends live? Is is it a friendship built on trust though, um, <laughs> or built on charm spells? They. Hey, <laughs> you're you start to head that direction. Um, none of you know why but after about 10 feet and walking that direction you start to hear cl um, clicking coming from basically everywhere the 18s um, Ori and Duncan and actually Crucible you know this as well you know that um, it, it sounds uh, normally uh, Joe you'd also hear this but you wouldn't quite understand wh where it's coming from it sounds like it's coming from everywhere Crucible Ori and Duncan, you would notice that it's the brooms now clicking in Morse code on the ceiling. And it's it sounds like it's coming from everywhere and continuous because it's being passed down from the one above you to the one in front of you to the one in front of that. Well, that's not very good. <laughs> what is it? Is it bugs? Uh Rooms I roll to decipher the Morse code. If I recognize it, it is Morse code. Investigation. I, I would tell you that you know it's Morse code, but um, maybe you don't understand. Good thing Alfred Morse existed in this world. Why not? Actually, I don't even know if that was his name. I just came up with Alfred. So it's being passed from one to the other. Yeah. It's going down. So I immediately cast Ice Javelin at whatever it is, just in one just in front of the code. To try to stop it, uh, it'd be pretty far. They're like they're like forty feet apart, each broom. One hundred and twenty feet is the range. The throw is far. Okay, is it is it and far the enough? Sure, I'll let you try real quick. All right, for Sparta. Boom! Ice javelin. Nice. Modified twenty. All right, <laughs> let's figure out what that. Let's figure out what that is. <laughs> D10 damage. Well, was Morse code in this universe would be like some kind of some variation of Thieves Can't code. Yeah, no, it, would pro it would probably be uh, some variant of Thieves Can't, yeah. Kant. I think it's Kant. You can't what? Emmanuel Kant? 12 points damage. And that would be cold damage if that matters at all to you. Is it not called animated broom, Laura? What's it called? You're muted. It should be animated broom. It is not showing up. Um. Why? Why is my D and D beyond stats, not work? I will help look it up. Broom of animated attack. Is that what it is? I bet. That's it. I bet that's that'll work. Is. How much damage? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, I'll give it to you. Uh, yes, you break the broom. Does um, the cold stop? The broken handle, another one sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> the the two, um, so 120 feet, so uh, 40 feet further, that would be three down. So the two um, around you are still going. But it's not getting past farther. Ooh, good job, Duncan. Well, they're obviously, they're sending that message somewhere, and it must be down there. Yeah, I think we went the right way. Eat these probes. <laughs> uh, Crucible, what was your investigation? 11? Uh, it was poor. It was 11. Um, you know it's Morse code. Uh, it's going a little too quick. You never quite learned it in the military. Um, while well, you were on the march, um, uh, but it is something, um, fairly simple that is being repeated. You can tell that the, the repetition is, you know, re reoccurring. 
Repetition is reoccurring. That might be the dumbest thing I've said tonight. <laughs> now, the question is, if we walk past the one that Duncan froze, are the other ones going to start going off? Can you freeze them all as we go? <laughs> Take a shot as we go along. I don't. I think I'll be fine That'd because be they would have just kept going. I mean, That'd be a tall order. I can burn them all as we go along. <laughs> I don't oh. even have to. I, I, I don't know how to say this in character, but it's uh, comes naturally to me. It doesn't wear me out. Wasn't I'm still uh, better watching them burn. Let's keep going. Okay. But we best be. We best be quiet though. Uh, I will uh, try. Okay. <laughs> I wish Bagby was here. I <laughs> uh, sure do. Warforge in a best stealth. Warforge in a full plate, walking around some stone fucking sewers. I do have. I do have the the foot silencers. <laughs> There's I a do nice not sound absorbent <laughs> layer of shit. <laughs> I um, will attempt. A stealth check. But... Do you want us to roll stealth, Mike? I mean, that's sounds up like to you guys. To, yeah, we're gonna try to stealth. Let's roll stealth as I am burning every broom we come across. That is a sixteen. You had to be careful with fire in the okay. sewer, by the way. I I got a sixteen. I did okay on my stealth check. Uh, well, I just know it's gonna be bad because my first roll <laughs> is two. Let's use a bit of luck here. <laughs> yeah, better. <laughs> Duncan, I'm going to go ahead and say it's kind of irrelevant what you do. Uh, Crucible <laughs> rolled two. So. Uh, oh. Right, right. Oh, okay then. I've already used the luck point. So. I'm sure glad we're being quiet as we're left along here. No one's going to catch us. Every time he crosses one of those pillars, he scrapes the side of it on metal. And it's just metal on stone. Um, I just can you, sigh. Can you not crouch a little? <laughs> And uh, I'm going to roll to throw a, when we get close enough, I'm going to roll to throw a little uh, produce flame. Fireball, fifth level. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to light the room. That's not, that's not Ori's style at all. I don't, I, I don't know if fire's the right. I mean, it's a lot of shite down here. I mean, in that gas it gives off. You ever light a <laughs> fart? Have you ever done that? Oh, would that be a bad idea? Like, I already have the flame like that in my hand. <laughs> I have never noticed, but there's creepy shit in the back of this bag. Yeah, line. I saw that too. There's freaking shadow people back there. Yeah. This makes more even more sense now. With, like, multiple <laughs> arms. Yeah. yeah. And they're hanging out by some radioactive barrels, I assume. You know, uh, it's not a perfect background, but it's the one I'm using. The um... so when I when I have my, uh, we'll say the flame is on low right now. Does anything happen with the uh, methane in the air around me, or is it low enough that it's not an issue? Is it the equivalent of lighting a match so it doesn't smell as bad? So as, as you light it, it lights up a little bit around you, but no, it like poofs a little bit, but no, nothing, um, <laughs> nothing explodes or anything. Almost singed my hair there. Um, <laughs> all right, so I have to roll to hit to throw the thing. Actually, so do we do that? Okay. Oh, okay. Well. Probably hits, uh, and then yes, twenty eight worth of damage. Duncan, out of curiosity, wasn't or Chad? I mean, it, wasn't that kill it. thing you did a cantrip? I do. Okay, good. I just don't know if it's quite necessary because I think we stopped it. So it's necessary, and I'm just wondering what <laughs> I mean. It's fire, you know, in I guess we're not being all that stealthy, so it may not matter so much at this point. But <laughs> what do you mean? Flaming just, brooms? Just saying a flame. Yeah, right. You know, oh, I do want to become famous. Too, right? I do want to become famous. Thank you for telling me about it. <gasps> oh, my God. So that's 10, that's 10, 10 fire damage to the broom. 
Yes, I I, I saw. Uh, you oh. you kill the broom. There's now f- uh, small flaming pieces of wood floating down the shit river. The um. <laughs> okay, I see your. Which point. is not Gosh. a sentence I expected to say tonight. <laughs> but I should have. That, no. that should be our <laughs> subtitle for our stream. <laughs> small flaming pieces of wood floating down a shit river. Dirk Industries. Join us. Uh, That's a t-shirt right there. Okay. <laughs> You know what? It's I, a little I'm, wordy. I'm sorry. I, uh, I I can see how that kind of makes us conspicuous. I mean, I know we're trying to be very sneaky looking at Crucible. <laughs> now, did we... <laughs> did we just assume that these brooms were bad? Well, yeah, it sounds we like they're uh, sending the message forward that we're coming. They're, if they're not with us, they're against us. These are clearly evil brooms. You know what? I'm As sorry. a paladin, I proclaim these brooms evil. There you go. That's proper paladining. <laughs> well, well, you guys are discussing that. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, so let's keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> with Duncan in yeah. the front now. Um... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, I got to put it. I got to put aside my prejudices against brooms. <laughs> Um, Duncan, you get to where the next broom should be based on your survival knowledge of things. Um, you know, it's above you somewhere. Right. Um, what do you do? Keep walking. Hi. Okay. You keep walking and you start to hear the clicking again. What do you do? I need some light. I need to see it. Crucible. I, see. I I move forward and hold my warhammer up for Duncan to see. Okay. Guess I'll take another shot at it just to see. Take this one out. You guys have upgraded cantrips now, right? I yeah. Fifteen. There you go. Hits. Nine oh, yeah, damage. Flame could have, sorry. Um, it, it mostly breaks. The there's part of it still up there trying to, but um, you can see that its movement is based on like it assuming it is whole. You know what I mean? Right. So you break the the end of it off, and it's trying to tap nothing against the ceiling. How how high up is this? The ceilings are probably fourteen, fifteen feet. Okay, I probably can't swing at it and hit it with my glaive. It's pretty far. Yeah, that'd be like eight foot on the glaive, and I don't think I could. I don't think it's that long. So here's what we know: that yeah, it, basically it's like a weird little alarm system because when we get into range of it, it starts to tap, and then those taps it goes on to the next one and the next one. It's alerting people here. So if we move forward, then another one will do that. Roll yeah. perception. Everybody, roll perception. What will we do? So. We look around. We either... 13. 15. I got a 13, too. 25. 25. Um, everyone's staring at the ceiling trying to figure that situation out. Or you happen to see one of the nearby stones in the wall. Uh, it looks more clean than the others around it. Is it somewhere I can reach? Yes. Totally within reachable. In fact, slightly, it'd be like hip level. While they're talking amongst themselves, I would just go up to it. And I would push it. The broom stops moving. You pushed it real good. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Do I see more of these stones where the other brooms are? You're you're not close enough to them to be able to, to know that. Why did it stop? <laughs> when I press this clean looking stone here, clean earth looking stone anyway, it stopped moving. Are are you just pushing buttons? I don't know. 
what seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mostly, I my first thought was that it was like one of those like you you see like uh, in, in like the stories, right? They have like the people like move out a brick and then the little eyes pop through them and they can like see what you're doing. And I thought, oh, maybe this is one of those like little little peak holes. Did but, he just so reference a movie? Push it through. <laughs> But it just turned out, I guess, to be a button. That okay. Let, let's keep going. <laughs> so, as, as we're, I guess we can move along and try and press these things. But if we don't destroy or disarm these brooms, we may as well just be like, "Okay, we're coming." Hi. And maybe that's fine. I mean, we're very, we're we're very friendly people. We get along with everybody, you know. But uh, maybe <laughs> maybe they aren't ones for talking. Um, I would I would light up a torch in my offhand to be able to see a little better. Oh, too. he's lighting up. Yep, that's Ori's job. Okay. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a, a small explosion at first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it seems to burn very well down here. Um, it's all the poop. Secret. Right, so I would I would move along the wall and try and find more of these buttons. Uh, now you know what you're looking for. Yes, at every inter every time in which there should be a broom, there is one nearby, basically the same height. They're not always in the same place, but now that you know what you're looking for, you're able to find them. Okay. Keep rolling then. All right. Then I will cut two. Yay! Bagby. Don't, don't, don't worry. Um, I'll take you. I'm taking you out of the sewer. I apologize. I shouldn't have left you in the sewer. I apologize. Bagby, you're sipping your drink. She's been a little busy helping. She is actually bartending, by the way. People come up, ask her for drinks. She is doing that. <laughs> you know, I um, I worked in a bar. Do you want help? It seems a little busy. Roll persuasion. Illuminati. Ten. Ten. Fine, but you ain't getting tip share. Oh no. I didn't get tips at the other bar either. Oh, kiddo. Well, it was more they gave me a free place to sleep when I wasn't underground with the other goblins so I worked so that I could sleep there uh huh you should ask thinking for tips. back it was a really shitty deal yeah alright take a hand towel I hop kind of vault over the bar clean your feet off in the sink before you start I cleaned them before I came in here Clean him again. Fine. And I clean my feet. I flip the towel over my shoulder. All right. You're on dish duty. That makes sense. I can't see over the bar. So, what do you got for me? By way of, what are you looking for? I can see the gears turning in your little brain. So, are you going to share? Or are we going to work in silence? No, I'll share. When you took your mask off, you're not um, how, who I thought you 
Or was described. Let me descri- st- uh, describe you for a quick second. Uh, what she was wearing. Mm-hmm. Um, I could, last week I couldn't. Last time we played this, I couldn't find an accurate representation. I still quite haven't, by the way, what I have in my head. So it's what she's wearing is basically full white robes, um, with white uh, silk gloves, and this is as close as I could find. be on stream for the mask difference being um mm. as opposed to the gold it's it, it's more of like an um uh eggshell ivory so it's the white but the um imbuing is like a, a slightly darker white right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because she was, she was described as pale when they described her to us, correct? Yes. Yeah. So now I'm not 100% sure, Bagby is not 100% sure if this is the correct or same person. Okay. Well, who'd you get your description from? The War King's general friend. You mean Rue again, yes? Mm Mm-hmm. He is a good soldier. He described the queen as pale. He's supposed to. She she flips her mask at you and puts it over her face. Ah. Okay. If I felt like going for a little walk to get groceries, it comes off. Just saying. That is really smart. That's a that's an impressive uh, piece of subterfuge. <laughs> Can't claim credit for it. My husband is good at these sorts of things. Mm. So, the other things I know is that your son is missing. Um, but potentially. Still alive? You get a couple of looks from people nearby the bar. And conversation nearby stops for a quick second. And then resumes. I guess he isn't that good of a soldier. And you want to find the literal god of death. Or just death. The physical embodiment of death. Yes. What I'm learning is it's not quite physical. That's really become a bit of a pain in the butt for me. Pardon me. Language. Mm -hmm. I hear worse with the men I travel with and out of my own mouth I kind of curse like a sailor shouldn't curse people think you're dumb ah but studies have actually shown that people who have a colorful vocabulary including curse words actually are smarter than people who don't use them fair enough studies I read a lot. Studies don't <laughs> exist yet. <laughs> they might. <laughs> no whispering voice in the void. <laughs> they have fucking neurosurgeons down in the basement. Down yeah. The first, so they probably have studies. I have established a weird timeline. Um, fair enough. Anyway. It gets really boring underground, so I sneak up here and I steal books and I read them. It doesn't really matter what they are. Your city fascinates me, by the way. I would love to visit at some point. On the up and up. I would love for you to visit it. 
but without your army that is currently going into every city and killing everyone. It's not my army. My army is a little different. I can tell. I've met them a couple times. One actually killed me, but I think that's before you took over. I heard about that hit. Don't worry, it's done. Thank you. We've uh, stopped non-necessaries. A little busy these days. Mm. Also, Dulce is an asshole, so you shouldn't really take any uh, hits that he might put out there. Haven't met him. Merely a description in a ledger. Well, avoid any uh, goblin man with a mustache that makes you think he might tie you to some railroad tracks and giggle about it later. <laughs> also, I don't work with that person. Uh, you'd have to talk to HB about that one. That's a uh, private client. HB? She points to the uh, bird man in the corner that's now sitting next to a couple of attractive ladies while he's eating food. That escorted you in. Oh, right. I met him once before. Sort I, of. I've okay. heard. I apologize if I gave him any colorful language. <laughs> Don't worry. It doesn't stick too long with him, unfortunately. <laughs> so I guess my... My question for you is, what is the end game here? What do you want with death? Do you want to see something, kid? Are you going to kill me? Not right now. Okay. Everybody serve your damn selves, and if you don't pay for your drink, I swear to God, I'll kill y'all. She's not joking, and I have magic fists. I will punch you all in the grundles. That's very sweet, baby, but they know I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm just enforcing that I will also help in the punishment. She's... I feel very strongly about paying for drinks that you take. <laughs> She starts walking and grabs a uh, uh, staff, very ornamental, that was leaning next to the bar. Starts walking with it. I follow. She doesn't need it to walk. She's kind of cradling it like um, uh, a drum major would, sticking out in front. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, you're led through... Uh, back room and through a kitchen to a set of stairs oh hey there's a baby I didn't realize what already I forgot the fucking time on the computers fucked up is that is that is that Lincoln time it's Lincoln time it's baby time Lincoln. Hey there, Lincoln. Oh, hey there, Lincoln. How are you, No. Can you say hi? Buddy. Are you sad? You say you look hi? a little sad. He looks a Hello? little down. Maybe a little tired. Yeah, did you not nap today? He did. Do you want, do you he want fought it hard, Lincoln? but he napped. Lincoln, do you want to hear a joke? It's a good joke. Why the gorillas have big nostrils? Coconut. How do you, how do you eat? Good. Because they've got big yeah. fingers. That's a random snacking type eating. Because <laughs> they're picking their nose, Lincoln. That's why it's, it's funny because they're picking their nose. You can pick your nose and you can pick your friends, but don't pick your friends' noses. Unless they ask you to. They Fetishes are weird. <laughs> Love you, Bubba. Say goodnight. 
People pick noses without consent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Lincoln. Good night, Lincoln. Love you, buddy. Get some sleep. <sighs> okay. Um, you start to head down a set of stairs and through this underground building or compound or whatever you're moving through is large. And uh, you, you just keep heading deeper. And there's a ton of people here. This is really big. So I'll be bl- I'll be uh, blunt with you. Okay. There's a man by the name of Dumas. Oh, we're familiar. He's an asshole. From what I've heard, you are correct. I want him. Bad. So do we. What do you want him for? Um, well, he kind of infiltrated and fucked up our friend's brain for, like, at least three years, maybe more, and controlled him and made him do some not-so-nice things, um, and potentially, like, ruined his relationship with his daughter, and you just don't do that to our friends. We also think he might be involved with death. She pauses for a second. Daughter. You mean Teague. Interesting. Idris, mm-hmm. You know Idris? Of known associates. I love I... how Bagby has decided that she's best fucking friends with this lady. <laughs> <laughs> I love Not it. Hunting. <laughs> I want to be an assassin. <laughs> I've been training my whole life for this, Joe. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I love it. It's great. And do you know how many, like, old lady headmistresses of orphanages she killed to get here? (laughs) (laughs) Dumas has something in him or under his control. That's what I've been looking for. That's what I think I need. Mm. She, she um, leads you to a uh, balcony walkway of sorts. I don't like this. Um, it's railed, obviously. Um, and you are not quite tall enough to see over it, over the railing. She starts walking towards a set of stairs heading down at a part of this balcony. Looking up, Bagby, roll perception. It's so weird with perception on Bagby because I have to to think about perspective. Yeah, uh, it's a 10. Um, Looking up, the ceiling is very high. Uh... And uh, as you're w- walking towards the stairs, you can see over and you can't quite, uh, you don't see where the floor is down there. But you, these stairs lead to a landing some 40 feet down. Well, hurry up. Chop, chop. You see, when I heard uh, what this embodiment is here that I have been chasing and how it has bound itself to, I'll show him respect and say, Professor Dumas. That's kind of you. There's no reason to lose respect, Bagby. Remember that, even to your enemies. Ever. And 
Anyway, Professor Dumas, I had a puzzle to solve. And I think I have. As you're walking down the stairs, you get to the landing, there are armed guards and a locked gate. Open it. Let us both through. Opens it. And you're going now into a room. Um, uh, fundamentally the same direction you came from, but deeper down, right? Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of light in front of you. She, uh, real quick, passes her hand over the staff she's holding, and she casts light on it without saying anything, basically. It starts to glow. They did not mention that you have magic. <laughs> uh, Rue. Well, proper spy master, and from what I hear, you need to know this. Chooses when to tell the truth. I, uh, had it to figure out how. How do you contain a spirit? She's le she leads you into an opening. Very large room. Uh, you pass a uh, hauled corridor to your right. That um, you hear unnerving sounds in. Before you get there. Entering the room. She waves the staff, and the floor lights up in a circle around what can only be described as an altar in the middle. Each corner of this squared altar has large pillars, spiked pillars coming out with elaborate runes written along the sides. How do you contain something that can't be contained? That exists within another creature? I think I figured that part out. She leans on one of the pillars. Bagby, you're going to find him and you're going to bring him back here. Do you understand that? I don't mean to bark orders at you. I know you don't work for me, but... Do you want me to? <laughs> you have another job, Bagby. They're trying to get me... Like, get rid of me down there. Lacey he could do it. She's much better at it than I am. I don't know who Lacey is, but sure. Don't sell yourself short, though. I'm sure you can do anything you want. And I didn't mean the short pun. I apologize. <laughs> Water on the duck's back. <laughs> I don't know what you have to do. But I need you to convince your group to help you. What do you think is inside of him? Death, sweetheart, or as close as it gets on this plane of existence. And you think you can extract it from him? No, I do not. And I do not intend to. But that is a story for a different time. She walks over to one of the side walls. Roll perception real quick. My third ten in a row. So ten. <laughs> um, 
you uh, as she gets to the wall um you hear the menacing sounds from down the hallway that you previously heard uh sound worse they get louder she there's a little workbench you couldn't previously see because of the light radius or you didn't look at because you were looking at her right yeah. you just didn't look so you didn't notice she opens a uh, and she grabs like a very n nice ornate jewelry box out of it out of it she pulls a chain and an amulet of some kind and she holds it toward you You will put Love this, it. you will put this on Dumas' neck. You will not wear it. You will not put it on your friends. When Dumas wears this, he will be pliable. You will bring him back here alive, Bagby. I like you. I like your friends from what I've heard. She gets down and look, gets very close to you. But I will tear the souls from your bodies if I fucking have to. Did my swearing sound smarter to you? Not necessarily smarter, but very, very much more intense. <laughs> I apologize. No, it got the point across. Do you take it from her? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in one of my smaller velvet bags. It's one of my nice special bags. Piece of advice. Don't let him see you coming. Oh, it's a good thing that I can basically teleport from the shadows. Yeah, but can you hide from the other thing? And I do not have the answer for that. Mm. All right, let's go back. Make sure nobody stole any damn beer. Hopefully my friends are here by now. Cut to! <laughs> That's us. <laughs> um, you've traveled for some time. Up ahead you see a light in the darkness. Torch light, clearly. Um, with people... Uh, around you, uh, around the torchlight. Just people standing around a torchlight. There's um, four in total. They look intimidating, larger. I walk up. Oh, okay. Always making friends, that one. My shit covered boots. Shit boots. That's what they call them, shit boots. Oh, shit boots. boots. Um. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. How are we doing tonight? Pleasure. Uh, that I'm under the impression that some of you, your group, have apprehended my associate. I was trying to use his vocabulary here. I am um, gonna have to ask you to take me to her, please. You see him kind of lean over and look past you. Could be at the group. From behind you, somewhere in the darkness, you hear, Yeah, it's them! I, I jump a little bit. <laughs> like, like, just a little bit. 
Never under, underestimate a proper rogue, dude. <laughs> Fair enough. Weapons are left at the door. Non-negotiable. I'm a sorry. Fine. Wouldn't... You wouldn't separate an old man from his walking stick, would you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Seen everybody else willingly give up all their weapons. <laughs> I will give up all mine. They will be returned to you on exit. If you exit. If you're not if they're not exit, they will be sold at a low price, I promise. Thanks. Follow me in, please. Does everybody get their weapons? I didn't fully ask, I guess. Yes, okay. Aye. I think um, I'm the only one in the whole group that relies on weapons. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, do, do, do they take the shield, too? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I lose two AC, so that's something. <laughs> you head inside. There's a washroom within this door. If you could clean uh, your, boots, your boots within the wash trough and then your hands as well. Or any other um, parts of you that may have dragged or fallen in. He glances at Ori. <laughs> <laughs> Ori, span. Pull some water up from the trough. From the trough. I, and I give him a bit of no, a I, I jump at the trough, and then I turn into a, a fish as I hit the trough, flip back out, clean as a fish, and then pop up, clean Ori. <laughs> that is... The best use of wild shape. Nice. That's amazing. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> it, it's bath time. It takes no time for him. Yep. It's very, very quick. All right. I, I would clean off. Hi. Um, Crucible, I'm assuming you clean off as well. Yes, the, I do. Um, I hose off. We head back out, and you are... Invited to walk up freely a set of stairs behind you, uh, farther in. Nobody's accompanying you. As you're walking, you can hear uh, talking. You can hear uh, laughter, conversation, a little bit of music being played. You smell food. And an open fire somewhere in front of you. Reaching, you see yourself in a bit of a pub. I look for an open table then. You, before, um, roll perception. Everybody, by the Everybody. way. Everybody. Okay. 23. Bagby. Bagby, you're in everybody. 15. <laughs> I didn't realize we were all together again. 14. Getting the band back together. What is this? Perception. <laughs> you get higher than 15, or 15 or higher, you see each other, basically. 14. Bagby, oh, you're right. busy. You're, you're, help, you're, at the, you're at the sink behind the bar. You're scrubbing vig vigorously. It's Bagby. Bagby. With a 26. I'm like... Oh, Bagby's back there attending uh, attending bar washing dishes. She missed a spot on that dish. <laughs> <laughs> Bagby. Bagby, it's me, Duncan. You hear Duncan yelling at you from across the bar. Oh, hey, Duncan. You want a drink? Walk on over there, then. I put you to work, did they? I offered. Right, right. I take a drink, of course. You better pay for it. Several questions. <laughs> Ramita, uh, Ramita is not with you at this time. She was at the end of the bar. Oh, hey, Bigby. How are you? Know? 
license to grundle punch anyone who doesn't pay. So if you boys want drinks, you better pay. I've seen how you punch. I'm not going to take that in the grundle. So I'll give her some money. Name. Put it in the tip jar. I make a couple drinks. I get the shaker. I pull the drinks. There you go. <laughs> Joe, did you say you had questions? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> You're just wandering up to the bar like, oh, hey, baby. <laughs> yeah, everybody else seems real real cool about this. So. Everybody's real accepting of what happened here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was on my way to go see the prince. Um, and then our friend HB, the Kenku, um, the, the bird guy who tried to kill our one friend that one time, um, he and someone else found me and escorted me here to meet Romida. Da, da, da. Who's Romida? She's the queen of the assassins and also the orc king's wife. But shh, don't tell me what. You met her then? Oh yeah, we had lots of good conversation. She took me down into this creepy basement um, and she's looking for Duma too. Why'd you go through the sewer to find the prince? Aren't you like not on, like, you're not on the wanted list. I thought that's why you were going. I wasn't going to go out the front door when someone isn't expecting anybody to be in this, our house. So I was going to sneak out the sewer and then go up top. They just got me first. So you chat with her then? Mm-hmm. Is she nice? She's really nice. I can tell she's pretty, um, I think she's pretty sad and worried about her son. Don't mention it because people get weird. Um, but yeah, she thinks that Duma might have the spirit of death inside of him. What? Well, you know, like we you have... know, you, you, let me stop you. I will take that drink, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Put some coins on the table. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So she wants us to find him and bring him back here alive. And she gave me a special kind of amulet that we're supposed to put on him without him knowing. Um, or without him knowing that it's coming, and that will make him more pliable. So does she expect us just to go out and randomly look for this guy, or does she have an idea where he might be? Well, those were questions that I didn't get to, that we could all ask her now that we're all here. She walks so you back. you make it sound like we're going to have a casual brunch with her or something. Well, she's really nice. Hey, Romita, do you want brunch later? Uh, I ain't much of a morning person, but if we can do it somewhere around, somewhere around 6 p.m., sure. Like Brenner. Breakfast for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds I'm not nice. sure we need to put a name on it. Brenner sounds weird. Well, it sounds better than brunch. Right. Ooh, Why were those the options? Industries. I can't say that. <laughs> I think I'm having a stroke here. <laughs> uh, Romita, these are the boys. The boys, Romita. Pleasure okay. to meet all of you. Have a wonderful bar here. Ah, thank you. I uh, recently acquired it through aggressive. Uh, I killed the owner, let's be honest. Oh, right. Uh, that is just a joke. He is dead, though. <laughs> I have a question for you, Mike. Um, I would like to use my ability to sense uh, undead and demons and stuff. Uh huh. Do I get anything off of her? Undead and demons? Sorry, celestial fiend or undead? Uh. Hi. You can just do it at will. Yep, four times for long rest. 
She is not undead, but you get the feeling of undead off of her. I um, I do that thing that like dogs do, where like their hair rises on the back of their, <laughs> on the back of their neck. I like scooch my bar stool back like half an inch. <laughs> It's not a strong enough feeling for either Bagby or Crucible's thing to trip, so. Yeah. Sorry to derail the conversation. No, you're fine. <laughs> well, so, it's a pleasure to meet you all. I've been oh, well, particularly... Very... I've been particularly interested in uh, Crucible. <laughs> uh, your, uh... Former hit, you're welcome, by the way, was, uh, odd. Can you tell him? Can you tell him? I could. Oh, he wants to know. Or at least we want to know. What's the magic uh... word? Something I would be very interested in hearing, that's for sure. And what's the magic word? Who is it, please? <laughs> please? There you go. Is that so hard? Oh, not at all. Not at all. I was Forgive good. me, I forget my manners at the door. <laughs> you were contracted by Dumas himself. Oh, shit. It's actually what led me down the uh, path that I'm so interested in that Bagby, I'm sure, will inform you of in full. I did. They still have some follow-up questions. <laughs> I asked, why? Why would a professor of astrology... That is supposedly from the Far East want to kill a constable of a fishing village. And at such a high price. 500 gold put on your shiny little head. So I started digging into Dumas. So, in a manner, I thank you, Crucible. And were you able to discover why he uh, wanted this bounty upon my head? He... In his conversation with our old associate. And it wasn't difficult to find this information. Not written down, but thumb screws do good work. I was able to surmise that he uh, believed the thing inside of him could have a uh, better conversation if you were involved. You see that um, ghost in his form isn't much of a communicator. So he needs someone that has the ability to uh, speak with death, so to speak? Mm. Person he sent after you would have been able to bring you back. Gave him a diamond and everything. Kill you. Restrain you. Bring you back after you're fully caged. Quite the ask.
How was he planning on restraining me? <laughs> Corpse is pretty easy. <laughs> I'm talking about my soul. Well, if you know how the magic works, you have a little bit of time. You simply remove the soul from the body, restrain the body, and then put it back. It's a service a handful of our more talented current and former talent would provide. This would have this was going to be a farmer, but I believe you met him. Hands, Bagby. I have a question. Uh huh. And and Crucible, you might know the answer to this because I think you have some direct knowledge. If a soul were to die and didn't want to come back. Do spells like that force the soul back, or does the soul still have a choice? In a traditional sense, you are correct. There's a uh, choice the spirit would make. But there are workarounds. I don't like that. Like I said, high dollar, unique service. Well, ultimately, that tells me I need to be extra careful with uh, when we go looking for Dumas. Mm, I agree. His want for you has not changed. From what I understand, that's why your town was ransacked in the first, last little bit. And I am sorry to hear of it, by the way. Appreciate that. I'm sure the rest of us here appreciate that as well. So, uh... Bagby's kind of already told us a couple things that you've had a conversation about. Now I'm uh, curious uh, where we might begin looking for Demar. The uh, question seems to have slipped past us in our last visit. Sold his home in town, quit his job. Right. Runs cold. Except he tried to purchase a ship ticket heading north out of Open Dalig. Now, maybe that port shut down for unforeseen reasons right now. Any ever been to Open Dalig? This is, uh, this is, sorry, uh, out of character. This is a port um, just north up the coast from the capital. Uh, almost all the way to the mountains, yes. All the Almost all the way to the mountains. Would, um, I guess, if it's not specifically in our backstory, do we roll to find out if we were there? I mean, I suppose it would make sense for Ori to have been there as like a port to go from n up north. Uh, or he, almost assuredly, you've been open dialogue. Okay. I've been there as well. Yeah. I gotta use the restroom. Why don't you guys go ahead and quick roll history, both of you? See what you can remember about the place. Okie dokie. Outside of your notes, I mean, Duncan. Right. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what? It's Your hydro bottle. mate. It's a water bottle. Thing's huge. It is a full gallon of water. <laughs> and I'm yeah. 
every day. I bought that. It's got to <laughs> stay hydrated. It's quite good for you to be hydrated like that. It is. True. I'm if you guys... Here. Look at that. That's quite nice. A whole gallon today. Good job. If you guys didn't see it, I posted a link to that wiki. Yeah, I, I, that we've I, talked I about. That. that we've run across a butt ton of things that I think we're going to be moving into a phase here where some of the some of the stuff is, that we should probably put notes in here that if you've got any right, fill it in. And certainly that are important, so to speak. Certainly a nice reference back to it, even what's there. And I think you all should be able to edit. Did we um, let that Joel Giraffe, Joel Giraffe, did we let him go? Who? Joel Giraffe. He was in like episode one with the Minotaurs in the basement. He was one of the servants to one of the upper houses. We gave him to um, the guard captain. Captain Stevens, did we? Who... Yeah, and he, he, he went talked, to prison. He gave us some information, and they were gonna try and protect him, but we never heard what happened to him. Because there were people who, I think, were after him. Right. They were gonna move him to a more safe location supposedly, but uh, I'm back. never heard anything about it. Yeah. I rolled a 12 for my history. 12? It's not great. So you'll have what you have in your notes. I, I rolled a natural 20 for a 22. Um, uh, Duncan, why don't you go ahead and read your notes real quick, and I'll elaborate more for Ori. It's quite a, ni it's quite a nice trade part. Especially for the, for what's going on in the north, which is mostly like, you know, animal pelts and ores and things. You can catch some nice, you know, smaller sharks there. They taste, they taste all right. <laughs> Always got to get the fishing report <laughs> of a local area. Catching sharks, huh? Uh, Ori, um, Open Dalig is. Entirely made up of trade families of the uh, the mountainers, the northern tribal people, right? Mm -hmm. um, they don't like being under a Dean uh, a Dean control, a Dean control, uh, but they don't fight it either. They aw they're aware if at any point they feel like not being part of it, they just wander into the hills, and they're never heard from again. So they pay their small taxes, they deal with the local guards, and they just keep to themselves. Local guards don't push it. They don't, they're not uh, messing around. Uh, they're not trying to uh, cause problems because they're aware that they're outnumbered incredibly. So <laughs> Northerners are a large people. I mean... I uh, uh, Josiah is a no former northerner, so you can uh, assume some certain things. Yep, they're a they're a large. What? That she's hardy. a pretty lady. Mm -hmm. She is. <laughs> they're 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 a hardy people with a proud warrior culture. Um, mountains. Uh, the mountains have a lot of secrets the Adenian Empire aren't aware of, and open open Dalig is the one. Purely uh, tr uh, is the neutral one territory. neutral territory that they have decided to put up with uh, uh, the Adenian Empire and deal and uh, trade goods, goods and services. It, but it is if you live there or spend enough time there, you can tell it is a strenuous ceasefire at best. 
So, was Duma trying? Was he trying to get up there, or is he or 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 was he? I'm a bit confused. He's already in open dialogue. In He's fact, he already? has rented a home. I have some people watching him, but they are not the uh, talent to approach. I've shut down the port and given you time. Oh well, gonna need a bit of time. It's not like it's not like it's close. We got to go quite a ways past Fort Yarma to even get there. We better get going right away. Yeah, that's uh, I, if if I may say, that's quite impressive. I mean, the Empire itself, I don't think, would have the authority or the uh, push to close down that port. I I. I owe some friend. I owe some friends some favors, and by I'm favors, I mean I'm killing some people for some people. Cool. Okay then. I'd go myself, but um, I'm already pushing the bounds of a tentative promise. So. With the ports closed down, will we be able to get skate get a uh, safe harbor there ourselves? That is not for me to worry about. That is for you to worry about. Oh, okay. Begging your pardon, Bagby. Mm -hmm. You can stop. You can stop cleaning dishes now. Oh, I didn't even realize I was still doing it. I just kind of got into a groove, you know, where you're just, like, habitual. <laughs> you're cute. You can stop kissing up. Thank you. <laughs> no, really. I honestly didn't even realize I was still doing it. <laughs> but I really want to work here. <sighs> we'll talk about it. I don't plan on keeping this forever. Although it is nice to be back in business. Some normalcy. A roof. A bed. Having an orc man is nice, but tents are overblown. Does he always sleep in tents? Do you not have, like, a kingdom somewhere? <laughs> no. We do not. And quite frankly, we don't want one. A little secret, Bagby? Biggest secret I have. I want to go home. So does the king. Do your job. Let us go home. What was his name? Is his name? So we know who we're doing this for. My husband? No. Derek. Or Derek Dunn. Ow! <laughs> you dropped the dish. I just rammed my <laughs> hand into my own table. Ah! No. You okay? <laughs> Karma. It's karma for making Mike say it out loud and make it canon. <laughs> yeah. Now go. Go be useful or have a drink or get something to eat. I do not care. Oh, and uh, if you're interested in a goblin you don't like, HB knows all about him. I'm gonna go talk to HB. 
keep forgetting what that's. Uh, we, we we said said his full name at some point. And I can't remember what it was. Housebreaker. 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 That's right. Which is a dope name, right? <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I just really want to generate. get some dirt on dolls. Do you have salmon? Of course, we're a port city. What? Lovely. <laughs> What's <Well, it's> salmon? <laughs> go back, me. Okay, go back, me. What the fuck? I go over to HB. Let me pull him up. All right, there you go. That's him. Hello, HB. He's sitting in the back. Bit of a... He's got a rounded table in front of him. Uh, again, a uh, beautiful woman on each side of him. They are doing, like, serving things while he's eating. And they're mostly talking amongst themselves. This isn't, like, some stoic endeavor. He just mm -hmm. appears to be eating. And he's got a bunch of paperwork that he's working on while he's doing it. Hello. Hello. I am interested in what you know about the uh, goblin who put the hit on me. He leans back and stares at you. Stare right back. His head cocks real quickly. Slightly unnerving to talk with him. Every there's no small movements. Mm -hmm. Everything is perfectly still or abrupt. It's like a bird. Yeah. <laughs> Birds are fucking creepy. He cocks his head and stares directly at Ramita across the room. She sends a little wave at him. Oh yes, she told me that you would know, so she sort of sent me over here. Sent you. Mm -hmm. See, I'm in a bit of a political struggle with Dulst. If it was, in fact, Dulst that uh, hired you. She, he... He puts down the pen, puts down his fork, and does this uh, little, like, motion with his hand. The two women that are sitting next to him uh, stop what they're doing. They were also kind of eating and having a good time. Take, and both of them roll down their sleeves. On their forearms... You see runes tattooed on their body. Oh. They hold them up over their face like this just so that their mouth shows and then move in right next to his head. Whoa, that's cool. Out of their mouths, you start to hear dozens of voices all speaking at once in whispers. You want to know about dolls? Mm -hmm. Nothing Please. comes. Nothing comes free, Bagby. What would you like? Money or a favor, and the money is large. I have two hundred and seventy-eight gold. <laughs> You're cute. Ask how much I got paid to go after your little friend in the uh, in the city. I'm going to guess it was a lot more than 278 gold. He reaches down, tears off a piece of parchment, writes on it, and slides it across to you. It has a thousand written on it. That's a lot of gold. And I didn't even complete that. 
a favor then. I don't have one for you right now, but it would be open, and you would have to fulfill it later. As long as it doesn't involve killing anyone who is important to me. A I, favor. I have no reason to kill anyone important to you. And I don't kill anybody that I don't kill. Professionals okay, professionals have standards. A favor, then. Fair enough. Yes, he's been a private client for some time now. I've removed many individuals on his behest. That one in the, in the city in Kraskaden was the last I'll do for him. With new ownership and... Uh, strenuous relationships happening. I've decided to move away from that particular agreement. Probably a good call. He's a dick. I have no interest in whether people are nice, Bagby. Why did he want to kill me? Dallas wanted you dead for the same reason that your grandmother wants you alive. You're the heir apparent. Kind of hard for him to take over if there's somebody in the seat. He looks, he look, seeks to move his entire clan to your position. Boot yours out or have them erased. I'm not sure. Don't like that. He understands the perks of the job. Wants them. Your grandmother's age, for instance. That's a perk of the job? Oh, you haven't been properly briefed. Nope. It's not so much a job as a curse, kid. Passing it from person to person like a bad STD. Great. Shit if it is, I think you've already been marked. Oh, probably. Doesn't, fi doesn't finalize, though, until the person with it dies. So as long as your grandma's alive, you're good to live your life. But seeing as she picked you... How do you know this much about goblin politics? Doll strings. That makes sense. God, he would make a shitty spy master. He would be the worst, but the power would be what's important. He fully believes they should be working with the Adenians. Well, I don't completely disagree with him there. I think relations with the upstairs and downstairs could be better. I think that's a naive way to think. How do the Adenians react to any new people they run into? They invade them. I have no doubt you could defend yourselves. What does that lead to? All of a sudden you're running this shit show up here.
Hmm. Have I answered your question, Bagby? Because I'll be honest, this, and he indicates to the two people, isn't comfortable. I suppose so. Thank you. You're welcome. Pleasure doing business with you. The women next to... He indicates and the women next to him stop talking. Roll their sleeves back up. And just he goes back to what he was doing before. I leave. Bagby's grumpy. She didn't like the answer. <laughs> Bagby, what's your find out? Nothing good. Apparently, and I share everything that he said. Okay. Well, that curse part? Don't like that so much? Yeah. And you owe that murder crow a favor. Yeah. Drinks are pretty good here, though. I saved just some Brussels sprouts. Because I don't like them so much. But you like them, though. I do like them. Thank you. <laughs> Pag, we eating a Brussels sprout like an apple. <laughs> I feel like I didn't really... Uh... That favor thing is going to bite me in the ass because I really didn't get a lot of information I didn't already know. <laughs> well, it's confirmed, though, so... I mean, that's something. Yeah. It's going to sound a bit strange coming from me, but... Does anybody know where the destiny is? Oh, we sent it with, um, back to Kraz. Oh, crap. Does that mean we have to, that means we have to walk back to Kraston, doesn't it? We need to go north, though, if we're going to do this thing. Can we take a train to Kraston? I'm going to take the last train to Cosmo. Last. All right, I'll reach out the station. As I say that, I look at, I look at Bagby. And can we take a train to Cosmo? We well, probably could. We just have to go downstairs. But you don't know how to get the big guys down there. I don't know how to get you big boys down there, though. Hmm. But we are in the sewers I, already. Don't suppose anyone around here knows how to get into those tunnels. Did you see anything on the map, Duncan? I, I saw many things on the map. I don't know exactly what I saw, though. That's the problem. Hmm. So, take a <clears throat> study. Or we could just try to rent a boat. Could ask Grameda? If oh, the port's okay. closed anyway, yeah. maybe we, maybe it's just for the best that we take like a caravan, go by land. A port. <coughs> we could ask Grameda. She might know. Is she standing by us, by the way, Mike? She's busy. She might be able to hear you, but she's not responding. When Bagby says that, I would quietly say, I don't like her. <laughs> Why? She stinks of death. I stink of death. Crucible stinks of death. 
Not at all the same. Do we not give off some weird kind of undead vibe to you when you do your wizard thingy? I'm pretty sure that's been established before. <laughs> yeah. They do. Not the same. You guys didn't make a choice to cause undeath in the world. I We saw what she does down in the swamps. We saw the undead that were created by her. Oh, those were made by her? Yeah. She is also, oh. uh, I, I think at some point it was revealed that she is also known as the Dead Queen. Huh. I completely forgot about that. She didn't seem very amenable to helping us get into that port either. So. I would like to leave. <laughs> Joe's done. He wants to go home. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I'm not in my safe space. Well, this might be the last time in a bit, so grab a glass then. Oh wait, here. Let me let me go ahead and do it like properly, real quick. I uh, I, I don't grab my glass, Duncan. <laughs> I grab my flask to do the toast. Pinkies. I don't have anything. Water. Take drink out of your gallon of water. Aye. <laughs> you drank all of your gallon of water? Yeah. That's good for you. That's quite nice. There should be like so many booze bottles like directly to your left. <sighs> no, they're, by, they're lady um, by Lady Umberly's grace and mercy. May your heart be light and happy. May your smile be big and wide. May you have a coin in your pocket. And the friends by your side. Oh, oh. that one's so cute. Everyone around you also cheers. <laughs> right, right. They throw you five gold. <laughs> Just kidding. Right. Hmm. Ramita, what's the fastest way to get to Appendaleg? Appendaleg? Do you know? Could do both if you got one that's heading direct. Could go to Yarma, take a merchant caravan north. That'd get you around the port stop. Could like a quite good plan there. Take a train going north. Here they do that. So how would, you know, people our size, you know, get down there? HB! Eh! <laughs> <laughs> I give you five gold, you show them how to get downstairs. <laughs> eh! 278. <laughs> he stands up. <laughs> oh, you fucked up, kiddo. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Oof, that sounds like overpaying. Sometimes he got, you know, got to grease the wheels as they say <laughs> shall we she ran the wheels through a grease factory the, uh... <laughs> I'm not using it for anything else right it's, it's true. true Joe's getting the uh, hotels from now on the uh... <laughs> I don't have any fucking money <laughs> oh gosh no. I, spent, I, spent a, I spent a fucking pinky on my armor, man. I don't have any money. <laughs> Ori, uh, Ori is going to have to pay for all the hotels. You, you haven't paid us since we killed those minotaurs, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't asked. You have, what, you, what have you done to get money? What have you done? I went to a Senate meeting. <laughs> I paid for my time on the floor. You're like waiting for your salary to kick in. 
Yeah. Did you do the paperwork that they asked you to? No, I don't see a W two anywhere. I'm just saying. <laughs> All of the paperwork that Lacey sent with me, and I sent it back in Lyra's magic drawer. I seriously have thirty two gold. Like that's it. <laughs> it's okay. It's well, now Bagby right has now. zero. The, um, the other things to worry about. Let's go. Uh, he he stops you. He pulls his sword real quick, like halfway, and points. Eh. Oh, you need your weapons, guys. Go back and get them. I would definitely not have left without it. Yeah, I probably would not have forgotten that. <laughs> That's a big piece of wood and a, a, a wee dagger. I don't. I, fine. <laughs> <laughs> he goes with you. Make sure that you get your weapons back. Then he leads you into the lower facility farther in. Bagby saw some of this. I have Adel in my good dagger. It was quite pretty. I mean, I didn't use it for much, but I gave it to her anyway. <sighs> I shouldn't have done that. In fact, he leads you down the exact same way, yeah, Bagby. You're, well you're heading to the exact same place, Bagby. Mm-hmm. Heading through a larger establishment underneath. Um, first through the kitchen. Heading down some stairs. There's a larger compound that, that you pass through, at least partially. Uh, head to a balcony of sorts. Everybody may, may, may roll perception again, Bagby, in your case. 17. 15. 26. <laughs> I'm the best. Ori? 22. I'm really good at the seeing the things. Not you're, so much the not falling on my face. Joe, you're mad you're not leaving. It seems like you're getting farther into this place and you're kind of kicking rocks and staring at your feet. Yeah. <laughs> this place is stupid. <laughs> um... Bagby, you get a better look at it this time around. Um, over the balcony, which is taller than Bagby, so probably three and a half, four feet tall. Bagby, you would look, you would be able to look from the stairs, basically, as it arcs down the stairs, you'd be able to look. I'd crawl up on Crucible. Okay. The this is an angled room, potentially circular, but you don't know, you can't see the far sides. In fact, you can't see far in any direction. Whatever it is, it's huge. There's no floor that this overhangs. You see nothing. There's just blackness below. That's creepy. Duncan, you would be fully aware because of your stuff. You're basically in the middle of the city at this point. Who's closest to me? Joe? I'm um, sure. Joe, Joe. Mm. This was on the map. Call it the pit. The pit of what? Just the pit. I don't know. It's in the map. It seems, according to the map, there's nothing above and there's nothing below. That sounds pleasant. Um, well, I guess I hope he's not trying to kill us. Takes you down the stairs that uh, are carved in along the side of this, the pit. <laughs> this, the pit. Yeah. Get to the bottom. Housebreaker gets to that gate. Uh, looks at the guards. 
What's the password? <laughs> he pops his he pops his thumb on his uh, uh, sword out a little bit. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I thought for a second the password was going to be password. Mm-hmm. Bagby. He leads you down that hallway, but as opposed to the room at the end that you were led the first time, you take that side hallway that you heard things from. I'll whisper in Crucible's ear since I'm writhing on his shoulders now. Things are gonna get creepy. Okay. As you walk down it, I'd like Bagby and Crucible to go ahead and roll a DC check. I think you know for what. Oh, Oh, poopies. Ori, Ori. You remember the pit on the map? what What are the things with Joe and your saving throws? Plus three if you're within ten feet of me. Are we within ten feet of Joe? Yeah, I'm assuming you would be. Okay. And what was that bonus, Joe? Plus three. Don't think it's Mathers because I got the ten. Yeah, Duncan, I remember us uh, trying to go over that on the map. Thirteen, I just hit it. Four plus one. That's where we are right now. Son of a bitch. Take five but it seemed like they really didn't know what was going on in that part of the map. Is that bad? But if you haven't seen them or anything else, guys, there's undead around. Ow! Did you take the damage? Yes. Ugh. There's a, there's a low growling sound coming from Joe. Oh, <laughs> He leads you through what can only be described as a jail block. Cells on either side. There is no light in here. Unfortunately, that doesn't matter for me. (laughs) He is carrying a small torch that does not fully light the area around him, but you can see the bars. Ori chained to the walls inside of each of these cages. Anybody with dark vision, by the way? Bagby, does this conclude you? Yeah. Um, Ori and Bagby. Chained to the walls are humanoids of different races. Very pale. All screaming, clawing at their chains, growling in otherworldly sounds. There. I can I use sense undead again? Yeah. Guess what you sense? A whole fuck ton of undead. A whole fuck ton of undead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need Joe. You guys Joe. to convince me to keep walking. Joe, we need to get So to Joe that stops walking. <laughs> no, no, like I, I it, when I see this, I, my immediate reaction would be Joe, Joe, just don't try and look around. Don't try and feel out at anything. We just need to get to that train. We need to get to that train. We need to get to that train. (laughs) Housebreaker. Hang on one second, please. One second. I, I light up my torch and walk over to one of the cages. The uh, go ahead. What you see inside is a humanoid, incredibly pale, um, gaunt, uh, reacting to the light of your light, um, the light of the torch. At first, uh, eyes hurt a bit, right, from the light, but then uh, tries to react violently in your direction. It is chained to the walls. That is the only thing stopping it from sprinting at the side of the cage to try to get to you. There will come a time, Joe. It can't be today. 
Bagby, you want to work for the one who's responsible for this? Not really. To answer your earlier question, this is why you and Crucible are different. And I put my torch out and keep walking. Housebreaker, seeing that you're walking, continues walking. Almost uninterested in what you were saying. You find yourself at the end. You can hear movement of water after a bit. You empty into a, a sewer tunnel. There's one guard. And two workers. The two workers have bundles of cloth uh, in very um, humanoid-esque shapes. And they're chucking them over to the side into the pit. Where do you think these came from? I don't see how that matters. I mean, are they capturing them or are they making them? If she's responsible for this, someday I'm going to end her. Housebreaker, lead on, please. He's still moving. He never stopped. Oh, okay. Then I keep going then. I didn't say that last <laughs> bit. Um, he leads you to a nondescript wall. He pushes in a brick on the side and a, a false door opens up. Set of stairs leading down. He stops there and points down the stairs. Right. Thanks for leading us, that is. Before you start walking, he, he puts his hand on whoever's in front. And he pops I'll be in front. Okay. And he pops his sword again real quick. And he like puts his hand on your shoulder. So be ready then? Ready then. Right. You have a lovely home. And I walk on in. Have a home. That'd be quite nice. He stops there at the stairs and watches as you all pass. After a bit, you can see and hear that false door behind you close. Has anyone got a light? The door is closed behind mm -hmm. us. Yeah. I keel Again, over I and vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I cast light on my Warhammer. Or he's getting sick on the floor. I, I would fire up a torch, too. Just to have a second source of light. Sorry, Joe. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just to make sure everyone knows, I'm not okay with what we just saw. And we are going to have to deal with that at some point. I understand got other things to worry about now but I'm not going to let that go 
Owen's okay with that, Joe. We'll figure that out. But let's go. You okay to go, Ori? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. All right, I guess I'll take the lead. After heading down the stairs, um, they go down for a while. Duncan, did you bring the map with you, the under uh, the sewer map with you, or did you leave oh, it yeah. back at the house? Oh, you did? No, I brought... Yep. Okay. I absolutely have that. I've got everything. Okay. Just kind of wondering. Or Herschel's going to wonder where we went. <laughs> I think time works differently for Herschel. I'm not sure he cares. <laughs> He's got company. Right. He's, gonna be like, oh, God. <laughs> He's got Bob there. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Pop up anywhere I want. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need to do a, a quick, like, one shot of the Chronicles of Bob. <laughs> Bob and Herschel. He's, he's, you're gonna, he's gonna have to get, go through, like, PTSD therapy after this. Herschel's gonna put him through the ringer. Um, Bagby's tired. <laughs> no, Laura's tired. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, you, you head down for a while. Uh, Bagby, um, you're the first to recognize it. It opens into this large cavernous area. You know you're in the crutches after walking down for a while. Oh, shit. So, we're kind of in the crutches. Like, where we saw the creepy thing and the cult and that horde of undulating bodies uh -huh. that were probably undead I'm just guessing that should be noted Bagby you've also ran into an entire Kraskinen army down here as well uh -huh. and the, the army from my home this is a terrible place for a dragon <laughs> well I guess I won't be uh, I won't do anything if we run into goblins but I'm kind of in the mood to kill something so um, well, that's fine. That. Undead or demons, I'm okay with dealing with that. Right, let's find that train then. Yeah, um, I am just I'm in the lead, but I'm definitely not leading us. I'm pretty oh, much I just going wherever Bagby and Duncan tell I'll, me to go. <laughs> I'll I'll be fine. I can, I can, I can see. I can <sighs> see the crutches. Bag, Bagby, do you know where the train is from here? You were were you down here? Um. Uh, you've do, if, been to the around, train. Peering through the dark, can I see anything that appears to be? Well, metallic? let's. I would like to steer you to the background image. Okay. Okay. I mean, Are those people with lights actually there? Um. Wildly less. If I'm honest, um, I have not used this background in so long. I have to change where it is on screen because we have an entirely different layout. The <laughs> last time you used it, we were all here in we were all in person. Yeah. Right. FP. Good luck. Thank you. All right. So perception, everybody else. Twenty-four. Twenty-six again. Jesus. All right. My best perception roll of the night: eighteen. Just. Uh... Or he's still a little shook. <laughs> Was that 13? Yep. Okay. All right. Um, everybody would see some light farther down away from this large, massive structure you have just entered, uh, exited, by the way. It's some ways down um, this uh, completely stone path that you're on. Quite wide. Uh, we'll, we'll say... Um, uh, 
you know, 600 feet wide and you're sort of towards the middle of this massive structure that you've just exited. Uh, and you just find yourself on basically a giant street in which there is nobody else. The <laughs> Some ways down, you see lights. And it's impossible to miss because there's, you know, nothing else down here. <laughs> um, uh, Joe, you are f- uh, Joe Crucible and Duncan. You would see that you're farther towards the right side of this on your your, your exiting, and you can see a railing, and you actually do see like, um, it's very muggy in here, and you're confused as to that. Crucible and Duncan. You would see from the torchlight, and it's maybe a quarter mile from where you are, a little farther. Uh, there are tents down there, and they do look, it does look like a bit of a war camp. At this point, do we still need our own light? Um, to walk where you're at, probably. It's very dark over here. You can just see the light over there. You know what I mean? Right, but I. Uh... But guys, I'm assuming that if we can see their light, they can see ours. Do you want to snuff them and hold on to shoulders of people who can see? It's not about it. I either. trust you. Right. I dispel my light. Okay. I put mine out. Um, Bagby, do you want to roll perception too, since you're back? Sure. I probably won't do better. Well, no, but you have different perspective on the situation. Fifteen. Um, if you're uh, Crucible, would you say Crucible or Duncan? Would you say that you saw tents down there? I. Okay. What's that? I, I, Crucible is that tents down there? That's completely what I saw down there. I saw some tents, people moving around. There. Kind of a, I point to it. Kind of a work camp. Might want to start over there then. Bagby. Mm-hmm. You would have that information now. Okay. Heading in that direction. Um, uh, I Ori, I assume you pretty much have to lead. Because um, Bagby, you could be towards the front, but... It's not like they can put their hands on your shoulder and have you lead them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ride on Crucible's shoulder and kind of steer him like a giant... Gratitude. A Gratitude, yeah. <laughs> You're going to choose the Ratatouille Crucible? Mm-hmm. He doesn't have hair. So how do you steer... Handle animal. Roll handle animal. <laughs> Oh, that would be drive machinery. <laughs> 16. Yes. <laughs> Due to grabbing his eye sockets and steering him. <laughs> yeah, we, I guess we do like a conga line and I'll just lead. Okay. Um, as you get closer, you uh, maybe couple hundred feet out you can all clearly see a lot of tents uh decent amount of people bagby this is 100 percent cross camp still they're flying the colors correct colors the can the the tents look correct armor people walking around look correct it is not as big a group by any stretch of the imagination than you previously saw This is not the full occupying force Axum previously had here. I think we're okay, guys. This is, uh... This is Krasku, then. Well, that's good to know. Just let me go first and let them know that you're with me. Hi. Agreed. Okay. And I will scamper forward. Uh, you pretty quickly run into guards around the outside of the of the camp. 
Hello. Pause there. Hands in the air. I don't know if we're there or not. My name is Bagby. You may have heard of me. They're speaking in Undercommon, by the way. Hmm. Don't know Bagby. Do you know Nitma? He glanced back and forth. It's your business here. I'm Nitma's granddaughter. I am the one who is taking over her post. I need to get home. I have some uh, helmies with me that need transport. Stay there. Couldn't help but notice that she used the uh, Akutsu Ocho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm talking to them. <laughs> We guess. White devil, white devil. <laughs> you speak what you do. Um, one of them leaves and starts sprinting away. Uh, a few others near the camp have started to gather around, staring out at this uh, uh, strange group that has come from the middle of nowhere, basically. Axon <laughs> doesn't happen to be here, does he? I'm, like, looking around. Are you asking that out loud? Yeah. General Axum is not here. What about Coinda? Uh, no, guy in front of you gets confused. Somebody in the back. Oh, no, Coinda. Is he here? Hi. Right. Go get him. He's my summer brother. <laughs> Like, that means shit. <laughs> It'll let you know. Other guy starts walking away. After a little bit of time, you can see a uh, banner holder starting to approach. Clearly somebody of note is coming, getting closer, right? Let it be dolls. Let it be dolls. You don't recognize this person. Okay, good. Um, uh, Bagby, young male, but, uh, battle warden, um, uh, goblin wearing nicer armor. Clearly this guy's a little bit in charge. Bagby from the Crosden clan. Yeah. Mm hmm. Do you have a way to. Prove your status. Like who I am? Yeah. Would you like to count the 57 bags I have on me? There are many goblins. You think there's not another Bagby? I sent someone to find my summer brother, Koinda. He will vouch for who I am, and my position. Coin of Cross. Okay. Their conversation is going really, really long. And they don't seem very happy. Undercommon just sounds that way. I turn around and <laughs> say. Oh, okay. Co Coinda. Summer sister. Summer brother. They, they, this is my summer sister. Uh, Sergeant, you're free to enter. We just need to get to Kraskuden, so we need to find the train. Why not just show your right? Symbol of the right next time. Because we can't go flashing that around all the time. Also, a couple of us got it in a really inappropriate place. Duncan showed his ass to a senator upstairs. Helmies are weird. <laughs> I saw a stealing under in under common. The uh, guy in charge and coin to start to walk with you. It's this way. Have you eaten, sister? Um, we yes, we ate some before we left for down here. Did you see my new leg? 
I did. It's really cool. It's working really well now. I've got a full hang of it. Nice. That's exciting. It's exciting for me. Back doing something useful. Sorry, but guarding the town isn't exactly fun. <laughs> well, hey, it's that goblin that we chased to that boat. All right, Coinda. Yeah, uh, goblin. Yeah. No, 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 they know. It's fine. This is Joe and Crucible and Ori and Duncan. Joe, Crucible, Ori, Duncan. This is my summer brother, Coinda. Hi, Coinda. We met before. We have met before. I remember. I have to speak to you often. She's, she's quite fun to you. I'm so, I'm so glad to meet you finally. <laughs> yeah. When you have full litters, you got to pick favorites. <laughs> Coinda and Porkums win. Oh, here's your book back. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. I cheated. I rented out the rest from down here. Oh, that's okay. Somebody's been exchanging up top books, romance novels and stuff. <laughs> Who's been going up top? I don't know. I don't know, but we're getting them now. Hmm. Sounds like a new Italy scheme. I mean, I'm very excited, for you, but that concerns me that someone else is going upstairs. <laughs> I'm not exactly one of the political intrigued like you, Bagby. Did you hear about my speech on the council floor? <laughs> I heard about it. They wrote the whole damn thing in the in the Tribune. <laughs> Didn't realize my summer sister was famous. I'm not famous enough to have this guy let me in without you here. <laughs> and you are? Rappel. Rappel? He likes Riding ropes. Down. Writing down. <laughs> Rappel. <laughs> Future. Dead. Gabo. <laughs> D-E-D. Is that coined up, by the way, on stream? Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool picture, but for whatever reason, it makes me think it was like Maiden Gary's mod or something. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a video game called... It might be called The Assassin. Goblin. Oh. <laughs> but you play that's the main character. You play a goblin assassin, uh, uh and it's it's super stealth platformy. It's fucking dope as hell. Sticks, right? Sticks. Yes, that's what it's called. Sticks. Yeah. Sticks is a great fucking game. His name is Sticks. That's a mm -hmm. uh, great fucking game. Does he, he collect sticks? Uh no, S T Y X, like the river. The um no, uh, he it's very violent every time he kills somebody it's like blood and gore and everywhere and he's got a cockney real deep cockney that he talks with and he says fuck you you fucking cock like it's very adult <laughs> it's a good game <laughs> got in a dude yelling oh what your insides look like it's, it's, a, it's an interesting video game fair enough All right. He um, you, leads you to the train station. The sergeant guy. Can we get you anything, Bagby? Master Bagby. I don't think so, boys. Do you need anything? All half drunk and full of salmon. Oh, so I'm fine. But thanks for the hospitality, though. I could use something to get, like, the, you know, the vomit taste out of my mouth. Well, that's right. I already puked a while ago. <laughs> and some bread or something. Wine and bread. They Thank bring you, you kindly. a... They bring you a flagon of wine and a, a hunk of bread. Thank you. Thank, thanks. Couldn't thanks, help guys. but notice that the uh, troops have diminished significantly. Hi, we're on full standing. Just sitting here waiting. Officially another outpost. Luckily there's enough room down here. It's good training. Getting been getting people in and out. 
have you seen any um, anything strange down here? Uh, Minotaurs, we... Helmies that look like cultists. How did you know of the miners? Well, I mean, we've, we've kind of been all around the Dinagard and very, very much in the No, city. sister, he means recently. I came through. We had a skirmish. Like, when? Not long. Day. Where did, direction did they come from? Below, as per always. They ran through a side tunnel. We were able to keep them out of the crutches, but... Did they make it up top? A couple have. Sister, we had to cave the tunnel in. They had a... He looks at this sergeant. The sergeant sort of contemplates whether or not he should tell you what he is clearly on his mind. I am... Serving as the spy master of Kraskadin right now, you can tell me. I understand. They had the gore with them, Master Begby. The gore? From the old war. One of the generals of Baphomet. You are shitting me right now. We're lucky they were uninterested in us. We simply held them off till we could cave in the cavern. They were quite interested in the general, though, weren't they? Oh, is he speaking in common now? Yeah. I would have started speaking in common. They would be. Yeah, to encourage them to speak in common with you all. Is that the thing in that painting? I bet so. I bet so. You've seen the. You've heard of the painting. Yes, our researchers have looked into it. That is the gore. There are. Apparently, there's many. We're unsure how many there are here. We saw but one. In Gorm's name, we are lucky. They were uninterested in us. Well, crap baskets. S- sister, he enveloped the Minotaurs in fire and flames, yet they were unharmed. Do you know how that's possible? I don't. But this isn't the first we've heard of it. So if you caved in the cave they took, where else can they go? Couldn't tell you. It was. I know it's a connected passage farther deep, though. They have a sense for the tunnels that uh, only the Elder Dwarves share. A tar is never lost in a maze, no matter how complex. That's what we've been briefed on. Are the Elder Dwarves the ones that are up north? Mm Hmm. We have some to our community. They are quite old. But many of the others live up north, correct? Where the... Well, far to the south, but the closest are the northern mountains, yes. Interesting. That's where our quarry wants to go. Have you been to the northern tag, Master Bagby? No, but we are heading in that direction. He turns around in Undercommon. Maps for my tent! I like you, Ropel. If you're heading north, I can't tell you what to do, but 
I can help you along the way, and if you so choose to look into it, that makes sense to me. This train will head north. The instructions are... I can write them down, but they are complicated. You will need to switch tracks very specifically to get to the Taig. Some of the uh, rails are no longer intact, from my understanding. And uh, pretty sure you don't want to run that one off the tracks. Definitely not. Uh, Paige returns with... A bunch of different stuff. He thumbs through them real quick and pulls one. Here. Ooh, maps. Yes, those will go to Duncan. He is our map master. He our wrote... cartographer, if you will. Do you, uh, I don't have a pen. Any of you? I do. He takes it from you. This is your north. On the surface. Right. And he points it. I believe these are your... Uh, damn. The opposite of that will be south. He grabs a, he grabs a sextet from the, from the page. I believe this is ten miles. Or close to. Right, right. Uh, Duncan, go ahead and roll investigate real quick on the map he has handed to you. So I have to be investigate. What can't be a better one than that? <laughs> or survival. I'll let you roll That'll survival. Work too. 21, I'll take it. Uh, 21. Um, that tag is really fucking close to Opala, uh, Open Landa. How the fuck did I spell that? How do you spell that? Open Dalig. O P P E N D A L E G. Open Dalig. Bagby, you know Dwarvish, correct? Um, I do, yes. You would now put it together that Open Dalig means the northern gate in Dwarvish. Oh, the northern gate. Now that makes sense. A fully Adenian city named after a Dwarven word. They just appropriate all kinds of cultures, don't they? Really do. I mean, I, I grew colonists. up around all kinds of dwarven ruins, and I never ran into a single dwarf before coming down here. Well, suppose we're going north then? Is that the same direction as our target? Aye. It'll actually dump, dump you out maybe 20 miles north of where you need to be, but. I sure I'm the map then. It's going to be up here. And then we'll have to come back this way just a bit. But that's where we're going there. Right. Let's go. Let's take us to that train then. All right. Be careful, Summer Sister. I will, Summer Brother. If you see Netma, tell her to write me, damn it. I have not heard either. But I will. Thank you. <sighs> Goodbye. And thank you, Ropel, for the maps and your aid. It is very appreciated. No problem, Master Bagby. I'll have to report you coming through, but I hope you understand. Totally. If the report goes to Axum, he'll he'll be discreet with it. I'm sure it will. He's been asking for mul so many reports lately. Tell him hi, and that the stuff we talked about is going well. Okay. Door shuts. Okay, well, bye now. Uh, <laughs> bye, everybody. It's good good seeing you again, Pacoinda. 
it starts to move. Thank you very much for watching tonight. I gotta <laughs> pee! Somebody do an outro! Should you take us out? <laughs> nope. Nope. Yeah, okay. nope, not at all. We're just doing an elongated outro while he does the long pee from that one Adam Sandler <laughs> skit long, long ago. Does anyone else hear the word oxum and just assume it's like a, like a perfume for men? <laughs> no. No, that is not a thing that I thought of. <laughs> Please tell us more about what the fuck Axum is. Yeah, no, because you know, because the ladies they like to wear things that are quite nice to smell them. But what if a man did as well? I mean, and you have to call it something. So you might as well call it like something like Axum. Sounds very manly. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, you're talking about uh, you're talking about uh, you're talking about Axe body spray. No, I'm talking about. Uh, the goblin general guy, his name's Axum. And... Right, 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 right. But... So no one else thought that then? I mean, I, I, I mostly. It's really good. Just seems like a very strong name. Hmm? I always, I always thought like more about like you know asking someone a question. I think it's actually a city in Africa. Axum. Yeah. yeah. Right. May it well be. I seem to remember seeing it when I played Civilization. Okay. Well, I suppose we should actually do the outro that he asked us to do. <laughs> well, well, we thank you. So, recording. yeah, go ahead. But we can't stop the recording or cut ourselves. Well, well I know. That's why we have to start <laughs> it and, like, kind of, like, elongated if he takes too long. But I just have a feeling he's going to come back and he's going to be like, oh, you haven't even started yet? <laughs> Well, as you can see, Wednesday evenings are D&D &D 5E in the homebrew world of Crosden. You can come and hang out with us tomorrow night on Thursdays for some uh, Savage World Deadlands Blood Moon. And then Back finally, after two weeks, we'll do some Blood Moon tomorrow. I'll be super Yay! awesome. Yay! I'm so excited. Uh, and then Sundays, we have more D&D &D 5E with uh distant star where things are kind of kicking off and getting really weird and that's <laughs> fun and then tuesday afternoons level one gm and just like fun conversations with people great oh, job stuff and things yeah that's what we do here also <laughs> join the discord if you want to come hang out with us uh outside of our regularly scheduled programming hours um but in order to join the discard you gotta hang out with us on twitch so Link has been posted in Twitch. Sorry, YouTubers, come hang out with us. Indeed. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.